Sorry. Hello, everyone. Sorry for the delay. Uh, we had a little bit of um, some tech stuff, and uh, we just wanted to make sure all of our players were here and everything before we started. But welcome. I'm um, glad to have you all back. It's good to be back. Um, I know we came back there a little bit in December, and things got a little hairy there, and we kind of in like the holidays. But I'm glad to be back. A um, couple of announcements and uh, updates um, through the use of gold pieces and bits, uh, which is our currency. You can have an impact on the dice in real time. So. Uh, check out the parameters below for the different um, commands and stuff like that, so you can give our players a bonus to um, to their roles and stuff like that. And um, there's a couple other things that are hidden, depending on what you guys do, so um, check that out. Um, as always, there is a dice giveaway at the break. If you stick around to the break, you'll be able to see um, the announcement, but you can actually enter at any time by putting in exclamation point enter into the chat. That's actually the command to enter the giveaway for the dice. We'll be drawing the winner at the midpoint of the game, um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, moving on to merch, um, the Dale and Timmix bag of holding panel does have still have those age like wine merchandise line shirts that you all can check out. The supply again is well, it's limited, but it doesn't seem to be going very fast. But that's okay. Um, but there's definitely a bunch still available, so make sure you go ahead and check it out. Um, Ashley, announcements for you, and are you sure you want to do that and all that jazz? Uh, the only announcement I have right now is this week is our first Jasper's uh, game day event where our amazing DM over here is going to be DMing a Sunday game uh, and our awesome DM back at Are You Sure You Want to Do That is going to be DMing uh, Thursday's game and they're also both of these guys are both those guys are going to be playing in some games too and I will be there as well. Um, I'll be doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff though, uh, but three games. So check it out. Amazing celebrity DMs and some of their, uh, amazing friends. I said, I've worked a lot. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. Come, come check it out guys and support an amazing cause. There's the word again. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, all right. Um, assuming we don't have any other announcements, everyone, um, we're just going to jump right into it. So. Last we left off, the Teeth of Nulgrim, you folks, after defeating the head of the Durgar army and making your way out of the Witchworm tomb, expecting further confrontation with the rest of the Durgar forces, you, upon reaching the surface, actually found that Captain Reichel was communicating with these other Durgar and come to find out they had no recollection or any recall on how they actually came to the Prime Material Plane or what they were there for. After some time, you decided to take a small group of you um, a small group of Durgar with you to Nulgrim in order to figure out what to do with them specifically. After some communication with your father, Shirley, and after returning in a bounty uh, for the Durgar you had slain, which is uh, kind of, it is what it is, um, you all went down to rest for the evening. During this night's rest, Juliet, you notice movement outside the windows for your room. Upon rising, you notice two figures the head entered through the windows, one over the bed of Morhoron, shouting, For the Faelies! And that's where we left off. So, Teeth of Nulgrim. We're going to need to roll initiative right off the bat. So, oh, uh, snap. Yeah, I will bring you all over there in just one second, including everybody on the stream. So, just give me one moment. One moment. One moment. In a minute, so I don't remember how to do these things. <laughs> There we go. And... Oh, that's right. Okay, I don't do it from the actual sheet. Duh. Ooh. That tracker. Getting, getting them trash rolls out the way right away. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Come on. Did it roll? No, oh, it's rolling. I'm just having issues on my end. That's all. Okay. Um, it's doing some fun stuff over here, just to say the least. I got a whole 11. Point 0.15. Oh, speaking of which, you guys do have some plus ones, and so do I. So, yay for me. Ooh. Um. <laughs> That's right. I, I'm like, I 
can't quite see that. I'm like, oh, that's right. I can just go over to the foundry and. Mm -hmm, uh... mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so, um, being that um, everyone but Juliet is still just arousing from sleep, um, the first person to act is actually going to be not Morhron. I don't know why these legendary actions keep popping up. I will figure why that is in a second. Um, actually, our half our first. Our first of our assassins actually comes in. Um, he's going to make his attack at you. He's only going to make the one attack during this round because it is um, the surprise round for them, technically. Um, mm -hmm. So, spear attack coming at you, Morhron. Um, that is going to be a 26 to hit. Yep. Um, and that's going to be 11 points of damage. Okay. Um, that gets him up. Mm -hmm. That wakes him up. Um, next up is Juliet. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go for a. I'm gonna summon my blade real quick. And do do do. There we go. There you are. Um, is he in front of me? Where, where am I? Um, there is one guy that is in the window in front of you, and there's another one that has entered. Okay, I'm going over to the guy that is in front of me, and I'm going to swing a couple times. You swing a couple and, times. <laughs> and if all, uh, if all goes right, I might do uh, some fun shit. All right, go for it. Let's... Is that uh, Let's see, we got a 15 to hit there. Um, that um, just barely hits for the 12 slashing damage. I want to smite that, please. All right, go ahead and roll your smite dice. Let's see. Um, I, I got to find the smite dice. Jesus, where is everything? It's in Spellbook, right? Um, you're just going to have to roll your 2d8. Okay, 2d8. Yeah. Cool. Bear with us, guys, because it's been a minute and I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see, so that's roll. Oh my god. Slash, slash. Did it do it? No? Um, nope. Um, I'll okay. do it for you. That's okay. Can you, can you just click the ones down the bottom? Yeah, you can. That's why I was like, oh, I'll just fix it. They've updated Foundry, so I'm still getting used to this new yeah, one now. Yeah, they updated a lot of things on it, unfortunately. Um, so that is 12 more damage, actually. Damn. As I, oh, and I, I get another hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Look at me remembering some things. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to attack him once more. And the moment I can't see if that rolled, so tell me if it rolls. It rolled, it but I'm waiting for the result, that's all. <laughs> hmm. Shall I roll again? Yeah, roll again. I'm going to try and catch the dice before they disappear this time. <laughs> All right, we got a 15 and a 10. <laughs> um, so um, what is your bonus to hit? It's probably above five. So yeah, it hits. Um, okay. What was that damage dice? Did you see it? I cannot see anything. At it the was a seven. Moment. It was a seven. All right, so seven plus your, I believe it's three. Yes. Or no, so... it's four on your charisma. So it's uh, another 11 points of damage. And yeah, I'll smite that one too. Okay. Um, so down at the bottom of the dice tray, there's two. There's the little die, the prism for the D8. Just hit it twice and then go into the chat box and hit enter. Okay, now I see all this dice is rolling yeah. in. Yeah, now it's all coming in, of course. Okay. <laughs> After we did all the math. <laughs> right, of course. <laughs> of trying to figure it out ourselves. Okay. Hey, there we go. So eight more points of damage. Beauty. Holy As he just, cow. Like, comes in, I just. Mm. Just walked into a blender. <laughs> He's looking a little hurt. A little hurt? Yeah. 
Okay, that's my go. All I right. Everything. Um, Timic is waking up right now, so we'll move on to the guy in the window. The guy in the window is going to yet again try to figure out why legendary actions keeps popping up, um, and he is going to. Mm -hmm. He is going to. Hmm. Question his life motives. Yeah. <laughs> regret his decision. Yeah, he's gonna regret his decision. Um, he's gonna attack with his short sword. For the first of his two attacks. Um. Yeah, he's gonna miss on the first one with an eight. Um. Second attack. Okay. So. I have to say something here. This is kind of ridiculous. So he rolled an 8 and a natural 20 for his other roll, but the natural 20 didn't count. And then the second one, he rolled a 7 and a natural 20 on his second roll. So he still misses all of his hits. But I just want to point out that we had two natural 20s in a row that just didn't count. Um, gotta love it. Yeah, gotta love it. Um, that's going to end his turn, surely. All righty. Oh, actually, so. no. Sh Shirley's asleep. I lied. Oh, okay. Now Amorhan's awake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going <clears> to <throat> jump up. Okay. Isn't I'm that? going to kind of strafe around here. Okay. And I'm actually going to say, um, uh, so up up into my right is an empty space, right? Like up kind of towards Temek. Um, yeah. I mean, there's a table there kind of in the way and stuff like that, but... Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, uh, Shadalish, reveal yourself and protect us. And I'm gonna pull one of my cards from my deck of illusions and okay. throw it. Uh, and I pulled a jack of diamonds. Okay. Which is this? Better be something awesome. If an imp shows up, I'm gonna be pissed. Jack of <laughs> diamonds, an assassin. Okay. So an assassin shows up. I mean, it's the deck of illusion, so it's just an. Um, a f uh, it a can do anything except for harm someone. Right. So we'll use, of course, the things I don't have in my humanoid uh, blocks. Uh, we'll use Aarakocra. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> ah. I figure I would have thrown it kind of over here somewhere. Uh, we're oh, over by where the chair is. Yeah. Right there, yep. So all they did was see me hop up, say somebody's name, say reveal yourself and protect us, and this assassin pops out of the darkness. Okay. Um... And then I can use my action to make it do whatever I want except for harm people. Mm -hmm. So that is there. Uh, and that... That's all I can do on my turn, because that's my action. I can't take an extra attack, because I get an attack. Uh, and I don't really have a bonus action so that will be it for me okay um that brings us to the veteran or the gladiator um you take a good look at him and he looks very similar to you morharan in that he's got kind of some sort of draconic ancestry but it almost seems frighteningly more dragon than humanoid like um in his features like he almost appears he's got these scales but then these kind of like large almost like um, horns that kind of come out the top and he he's it's it's striking how almost dragon like he looks um, he uh, with you in front of him is going to um, exhale his lightning breath um, I need a dexterity saving throw from Morharan and uh, from Juliet okay uh Boundary literally shut down on me, and I'm putting it back up. So if you can give me a dexterity save, that'd be great. Okay, yeah, that, that's fine. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm waiting for it to come back. I mean, hopefully it's better than Maury's. Uh, if you want, to give me a second. I it, it, it is it is better than Maury's. It's a twenty-one. Um, oh my god! So you <laughs> save Maury, you fail. Um, so that's gonna be four d ten lightning damage halved to Julia. Oof. Oof. Poor Maury. Coming in. 
Hey, it's not that bad. So 15 lightning damage to you, Mori. Um, reduced to half, so seven to you, Juliet. Thank you. And... Um, yeah, that's going to end his turn. Um, bring us back to Juliet. Okay. Um, if I can just get my character sheet, it's... Okay, we just loaded, so we're good. Come on, Foundry, do the thing. We're almost there, I promise. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to uh, do another attack. Okay. Another roll. Uh, gonna go straight for the gut. Uh, 25 definitely hits for nine more points of damage. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Okay. That probably you? Hit. Uh, yeah, no, eleven does not hit. You go ahead and you try to you get that first slash and you kind of like dig it kind of like deep across his chest, slicing into his um into this like leather armor that he has on. You come back for another strike, kind of thrusting forward, and he's able to kind of um par not parry but kind of like step aside from the attack. Okay. Anything else on your turn? Um, that is it for right now. All right. Uh, Timic, you're awake. <laughs> well, roll out of bed. And, uh, just gonna point at the guy in the window and use Toll the Dead on him. Okay. Um, so Toll the Dead. Um, that would be a wisdom saving throw on my end, correct? Yeah, wisdom saving throw. I look at Timic confused. Um, that's going to be a 17. Oh, that succeeds. So nothing happens, right? Mm-mm. Uh, yeah, no, I don't believe anything happens there. Sorry, bud. <laughs> uh, oh, you go Timic. and you kind of like, you kind of like put your hands out and you kind of, everyone can kind of hear this kind of like ringing of a bell kind of that kind of, um, But you know what? I'm going to use my, uh, my my cleric thing and i can twin any any necromancy cantrip okay so i'm gonna also cast it on the other guy okay i'm just like pointing at both of them like that ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh that's a 12 so that's uh that's better yeah that one fails so it's 2d8 And if they haven't been, or if they've already been hit, I think it's 2d12. Yeah, had that guy been hit? Uh, I don't think that guy was hit. That guy had not been hit now. Oh. Um, so that was a total of nine damage? Yep. All right, that's his first damage of the game. Anything else on your turn? Um, no. All right. I think I know what happened. I know what this legendary action thing is. It's a thing that I added onto it, but it looks like it's mainly for the GM, but the problem is it's showing up on the Foundry feed. So um, so that brings us to the other um, assassin-type character that's in the window there. He kind of um, frustrated, uh, not sure really what to do. He, um, with you up in his face, Julia, he's going to continue to kind of keep slashing at you because it seems to be his only... Um, it's the only really thing he can do right now. You're kind of sure. blocked him into the window. Um, thankfully you kind of saw him coming. Sure. Um, that is going to be an eight to hit. So nothing there. Nope. And then a 20 to hit. Uh, that will hit. And I will also use a, uh, reaction and I can't find one of my spells, but, um, what is it called? Hellish Rebuke. Okay. Uh, roll your Hellish Rebuke. You're taking four points of damage on his strike. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Hold on. There's something else. Oh, it didn't actually roll the other part. So you're taking four points of uh, slashing damage and five points of lightning damage as you see this kind of like lightning energy kind of surge through his sword as he kind of strikes it out at you. 
um, as it, and it kind of almost like shakes you as you um, then go ahead and cast your Hellish Rebuke. That, I believe, is a deck save. Yes. And why it says you have no available spell slots, I do have available spell you, slots. You do. Mm, and it would be casted at its highest level, so it would be cast at level three? Um, correct. Right? Correct. Um, so that's an 11, so that fails. So uh, roll your upcasted level three damage. Okay, so that would be 2d10, another three levels. So that would be 5d10, correct? It's 2d10 plus two more levels? Uh, it's level three, so is that two more levels? Yes, okay. Yeah, so it's it's 2d10 plus 1d10 for every level, correct? Yes. Okay, so then it would be four. Four, okay. So we're going to do that. Another 15 points of damage. He's looking like he made a big mistake. Um, anything else on your... T or, oh, yeah, that's the end of his turn. Great. Um, he's going to actually step out of the window now um, and kind of strafe around you so he doesn't fall out. Um, actually, I'm going to... Actually, I should have done this before, but we're going to do it now. Um, with that hellish rebuke, he actually falls from, the, from his perch here in the window, falling back, um, taking... Another six bludgeoning damage um, from the fall. Um, he's still looking like he's regretting his life decisions, but he's still alive. Um, and he'll actually utilize um, his movement to stand up and start um, making his way off the map. And he kind of like just like hobbles along. <laughs> uh, as I get no opportunity of attack, correct? Well, you knocked him out the window. so okay. And you used your reaction for Hellish Rebuke anyway. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, brings us to Shirley. So we're on the second story, right? Yes. <laughs> Wrong room, bud. <laughs> and I'm going to boot this guy out the window. Um, you're standing next to it. The window's right here. Just so you're. I away. know. I'm, I'm just because I was over here. Yeah. So I'm just going to walk up to him and try to grapple him. him. I want to kick him out the window. Okay. So is this a contested strength check? Uh, yeah. Let me. Where is? Uh. Oh, wait. Did that? I, I, uh, I assume you're trying to grapple him, right? Well, like. Yeah. No, I. I just want to kick him out the window. Like I want him to fall. Basically, wants to shove him with his foot. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just being a little well, slow. Well, the, well, the, it's not at the right angle. That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Um, okay, well then I'll tackle him out. Like I'll, I'll go with him. Like I just <laughs> well, want no, him. Well, to... No, I'm, I'm, I'm. What I'm saying is that the window here is five feet wide. It doesn't extend over here. He's standing here. Oh, you're in front of the window, Shirley. You're in front of the window, Shirley. Yeah. Not him. Not him. He's he moved away from it. The the window is at the side of this bed here. Where it's basically in front of where you're standing right here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like where this ping is is where the window is. Oh, he's, well, see, he's, not, he's still he's there not, on my on my moved. map. He's oh, he still is. there. Yeah, he's yeah. Right there. He's he's moved over. Oh, okay. That's well, the, then yeah, yeah, I'll just I'll just grab him then. Okay, you actually just succeed with a twenty. Uh, he rolled a twenty-one. You rolled a twenty-two. So you just got him. So he is. And grappled. then. I'm going to rage. Okay. I like it. Uh, nope. I'm trying to find the words that I'm looking. Uh, not the words. Um, they have all these like really great, awesome things in Foundry for the conditions, but it's very hard to find the restrain condition, or not the restrain condition. The um, the incapacitated Grapple. condition, but but they have the oh, yeah, yeah. Exa exactly. So un unless I there zoom all the way out and find it, there it is. <laughs> Beauty. It's because this uh, image is very large. Uh, all right. 
So you have him grappled and you're raging. Awesome. Um, brings us back to Mori. I mean, Mori, you already have advantage on your strikes from flanking him, but now he's in a real tough spot. I just kind of grin at him and start swinging away. Beat that ass. That's so yeah. many dice. <laughs> oh my god. Do it. So 18 damage on that one. Mm-hmm. If a 19 hits. It, it hits. <laughs> I don't know what the other five is. That's not damage he takes. Um, that's the additional damage for the uh, hitting uh, Celestial Fiend or the, the Fiend. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, yeah, that thing. So he takes 18 on that hit. Yep. You're also throwing in your booming blade on there, too. <laughs> uh, which only happens on one, so this attack will not have the booming blade damage. Yeah, but Ooh. if you crit, it's going to be a problem. What? Oh. Uh, Get wrecked, kid. Since I crit, he takes an additional 2d6 damage from the Mall of, Psychos- uh, the Mall of Psychosis. So he will take... Which uh, is already down there, which is the nine. That's the nine? Okay. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, that's no, the nine. Plus. Well, the, the other is. I mean, you can roll two d six instead, of, unless you want to take the nine. I'll take the nine. So that's another twenty seven damage that he takes. Jesus okay. Christ! Um, oh. And I'm going to action surge. Oh God! Oh God! So many dice. So many dice. Seventeen damage. An additional 17 damage. Yeah, I mean 26 hits, so yeah, it's another 17 damage. And then... <laughs> to that one. And then there, a 26 for an additional 13 damage. Um, He's looking hurt. Uh, and then... I am going to... Step back here and throw a hand axe at him. Well, first he's going to use his attack of opportunity because he's got to do something. Uh, right? Sorry, what? Uh, la, 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 la. Incapacitated. Can't take. Oh, no. Never mind. He can't. He can't take reactions. So you're fine. So. Uh, six damage on that hit. Um, except for the fact that the 15 does not hit. But it's still at advantage because he's grappled, so a 21. You're right. <laughs> these poor guys, man, they were like, oh, we're going to get these guys while they're sleeping. For the Faileys! Oh, crap. <laughs> and that is it for me. All right. Um, that's gonna bring us to him. <laughs> He's not happy. Yeah. He, um, he's free to try and uh, break that. Yeah, he is going to. Hmm. Yeah, he's just in a real bad spot right now. Um, He's going to... Just sitting there laughing at him. He could always try to surrender, you know? He could. If if that was something... If if that was something he was willing to do. Um, He's going to attack you with his spear, uh, surely, and try to take you down so he can break the grapple. Uh, That's an 18 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, 15 points of damage. Okay. Um, so, here, com- here comes another one. Seven. Uh, 20 to hit. That'll hit. For another 15 points of damage. Okay, so that's 14 total. Uh, so, minus. This guy's hitting like a champ, even at disadvantage. Jake. What? Math. God. I'm. Why am I trying to do that okay oh, wrong wrong spot um and then the final attack is a 19 to hit that'll also hit he actually is not incapacitated i read that wrong on the the sheet it says the condition ends if the grappler is incapacitated i was reading it wrong um so that's a 19 to hit for 10 more points of damage um, so you had 15, 15, so 
15 halved is 7, 15 halved is 7, plus another 10 halved is 5, so 7, 14. Uh, 19 total damage to you, Shirley. Yep. All right. Um, and him seeing right. uh, his situation kind of... Actually, you know what? No, he would not do that. Never mind. Uh, brings us to Juliet. Um, can I see the other guy that jumped out the window? Or pushed out the window? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can see him. <laughs> jumped, yeah. You can see I was him. I assisted yeah. out the window. I'm going after him. Okay, what are, you, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to jump out the window. Okay, um, I'm going to need a dexterity saving throw for you to... Sure. Uh, an acrobatics check, excuse me. Acrobatics? Mm-hmm. Okay. Where are you, acrobatics? Because this is a 20-foot drop, so it's um, this is just going to determine how much damage you take from the fall. That's fine. Mm -hmm. My ankle. Um, yeah, 18 is enough. Um, so you actually take um, uh, five points of bludgeoning damage from the fall, but you land um, on your feet. And I'm going after him. So if I can... Um... So yeah, you're you're down, you're here. <laughs> I can't see anything, unfortunately, because of boundaries being funny with me. It's not letting me see anything. Yeah, I can't see the background either, but that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, you probably yeah you're you're within you can get within melee range of him. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna go for two attacks. Okay, go for it. Uh, but as I. As I jump down, I'm going to say, uh, not so fast there, little guy. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just kind of turns back and like... <sighs> oh, no, no, no. No time for grunting. You you made your decisions to come in here while we were sleeping. So uh, why can't I find my... Your combat equipment? is only six seconds. I don't think you have enough time to say all this. I'm trying to get my act. Uh, why are you not giving it to me? Damn it. Okay. Sounds just being funny, guys. Um, that's probably not going to hit. Uh, no, a 13 is not going to hit. Uh, but I will go again. So you come in, you kind of slash at him. Unfortunately, you do miss. And then on the second one, you do make contact. Um, how do you want to do this? Uh, I want to get real close up to him. I want to stab him, like, in the gut. Okay. And uh, I just want to get, like, like my face to him as much as I can. And so you like, kind well, of... Yeah. Your decision. Yeah, so you want to kind of strafe around him and kind of stop him where he is and just kind of... Whoosh, just jab okay. it right into his chest? Yep. Mm. All right, awesome. So, yeah, you do that. You kind of... You're able to kind of he's you know belabored kind of like limping his way uh, away from the uh, from the inn and you kind of circle around him. Um, at this time of night, the streets are fairly quiet. No one's really um, making. There's no one really out in the streets at this point because it's uh, in the middle of the night. And you're able to kind of take your pack weapon and you're able to just jab it into his chest, um, piercing into a, into his stomach, and he falls down slumped, bleeding out on the ground in the middle of the streets of Nilgrim. Um, cool. Anything? Well, that was action. Action, action. Um, anything for your bonus action? Can I take his head off? <laughs> um, I, I have would, plans. I would say you can do that as an action on your next turn. How does that sound? Sounds like, like a plan. Okay. Um, that's going to bring us to Timic. I will cast Tidal Wave on him. <laughs> just, just for funsies. On this guy. So it's a deck save. I mean, it says up to these sizes, so I'm just going to make it like just around him. It's not going to hit ben, uh, Shirley or anybody else. I mean, that's a fail, so um, go ahead and roll your damage. 48. Uh, 
Um, yeah, how do you want to do this on this guy? <laughs> just drowning in my in my wave. Okay, and you, you just see... <laughs> Nothing as glorious as Juliet. Um, just takes his staff and kind of pierces it into the ground. You kind of, all of you kind of see, or the two people and the, uh, the illusory assassin that uh, slowly disappears over time, see this like giant wave of just like magical apparated water just kind of surge up from underneath the floorboards and he just kind of is almost in this like big kind of almost whirlpool of water and he slowly chokes and drowns on this water um, passing and is no more. I want to start rifling through that dude's body, his wet, okay. soapy body. Okay. I want to step to the window and I'm going to cast Healing Word on the one that Juliet ran through. I'm going to look up. I'm going to take his head to the cleric. Me? I don't know you're a cleric at this point. Uh, I'm going to yell out the window to Juliet. What the hell? He's more of your damn friends? Everywhere you bring us, we're in trouble. <laughs> get back look. in here. You don't need that head. Young lady, get back in here. <laughs> You're not my I mean, real we, dad. We we <laughs> don't have limited questions if if we just keep him alive, and obviously we can kill him. Well, so. Juliet did just run him through his chest with a sword through his heart, so it's going to be a challenge. Um, I can cast gentle repose on him. Ah, I'll upcast it. Okay. Pull your sword out of him first. Um, this is a fun one. Um, I'm trying to think how this works, where technically they don't make death saves because they're technically enemies. Um, Why didn't you say keep him alive earlier? Well, I was occupied with a giant dragon man in my face. Giant dragon man woke me up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that, uh, unf as much as I want to go with you on this one, Ben, <laughs> unfortunately, um, I don't think it works that way. Um, so he's he is deceased on the ground um, in the city square. But um, Timic, if you want, you can cast gentle repose on him, so you have some time yeah. to work with him. If you, I don't care if he rocks. What about the dragon guy in here? Maybe he's uh, an easier fix. The one you drowned? Yeah, I mean his body's still <laughs> intact. I don't know. Just, just poke needle. a little hole in him, let it let the water out, and then heal him up. <laughs> now nah, it's um, we I was gonna say we were gonna talk to the cleric anyway, so So can I take the head off? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I told right. her no. <laughs> um and yeah. with that um juliet you are able to take the head off and we are actually going to go to break um i've got some stuff i need to attend to um if you know what's going on in my life you you know what that is um so for that dice giveaway folks uh, make sure you put an exclamation point enter in the chat so you can redeem your gold pieces that you've been accruing while you've been watching the show the entire time you actually can enter up to 10 times um i have to double check i've Enter as many times as you want um, until um, you run out of gold pieces if you want to do it that way. Or you can bank your gold pieces for other things, um, like giving these fools uh, their plus ones that everyone apparently has already. Um, so we will be uh, back in a little bit um, while I uh, go handle some business, <laughs> and um, we'll see you on the other side. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I brought a visitor. <laughs> um so, so just for a little bit um we're actually gonna call her a night um we actually i need to take care of the little guy but i uh, figured he'd say hi for a little bit um i do want to congratulate um mr jim bach 1983 for winning the dice giveaway we will still send that dice out to you um again i want to apologize for um kind of the abrupt end for tonight um but uh, we will come right back at this uh, campaign <laughs> As soon as we as soon as we possibly can, <laughs> um, just right now it just gets a little bit complicated. Yeah, the mini GM, the little blue, um, but um, we'll um, we'll find you guys somebody cool to raid in the meantime, and we'll see you all next time. All right, have a good night. Hey guys. Yeah. Hey.